Okay, and next page is going to be our descent. Now, descent we have um, target speed of 0.787 for our descent. Um, our speed uh, under a thousand feet is going to be, or at a thousand feet, ten thousand feet is going to be 240 knots. Um, usually, over North American airspace, it is 250 knots maximum under 10,000 feet, um, unless you request higher speeds from ATC and you get special clearance. Okay, and you have at EHAM is going to be um, 11, 11 or sorry, 110 feet below. Or 11 feet below sea level and yeah so our altitude is going to be yeah 39 okay so that's the descent page and what haven't we gone over oh the departure and arrival so if you want to select special um, uh, special uh, for example departure you click departure, EGL uh, tells you all the SIDs. Um, and then all the runways, these are if you want to, to, to do an IFR, or not an IFR, but an ILS. Um, these are the SIDs, so um, you have multiple SIDs that you can fly into, that you can take off from. So I believe SID starts, stands for standard. Um, uh, standard. I I honestly I, f I forgot and that's very embarrassing. But anyways, I don't know the I, but it's standard something departure system. And um, stars is standard terminal arrival systems. That's when we have our arrivals page. So you can see there's m more many more SIDs that we can fly into. These are just so for example, if we select a specific SID, so um, let's see. BUZ3J. You notice what happens on our flight display. We now have a bunch of mess here. So if we want to fly, this is this is flying into the runway 27. Uh, I believe is runway 27 left or left. Yes, um, we can verify that actually. So B U Z, so let's erase it and B U Z. I thought I think we said three J. Yeah, it should be at runway twenty seven left. I'm not sure, but I th I believe it is because if you go in here into your flight display and you zoom in, you see that you're going to be coming in. Basically, from from this way, you're gonna you're gonna go south. Then you're gonna turn and line up. So basically, this is a vector to the runway to for approach. So that's basically your departure SIDs. So we erase because we we don't need to do that yet. And our arrival at either EHAM or EGLL, but EHAM makes sense because that's where we're gonna be going. And here you have stars or approaches, different approaches. And same thing when you select either one. Right now we have, I believe, uh, yep, an IFR for 27, for runway 27. Um, but if you want to do an ILS or a stars approach, or a VOR approach, there's different approach modes that you can have depending on what the flight plan calls for. So that's the departure slash arrival page. Now holding, as I said, you can add a hold a hold waypoint, um, altitude, speeds, stuff like that. Fix, same thing. We went over this. And we go back to the progress page. Basically, this concludes the FMC tutorial. And as I mentioned earlier, I wanted to show you one more thing, which was how to configure the 
MCP. So for takeoff. So to actually to configure the whole uh, the whole cockpit flight deck. Um, so the instruments, wh what you do first is you want to set your altitude. So you initially set to 10,000 feet because that's usually where you fly to before you get your next, or no, not 10,000, I think, I believe it is 3,000 feet for here, for over Europe. Um, and then you get the next um, altitude uh, so from the air traffic control. So 3,000, and you want to set your speed to 250 knots right now because y you first initially will fly under 10,000 feet and you need a maximum of 250 knots. And what you need to do now is you need to arm your auto throttles and turn on your flight director switch. And basically that's the MCP configuration. Of course, you need your auto brake to reject a takeoff, and you need flaps 15. But we don't have any hydraulic pressure, so I yeah, we don't have hydraulic pressure, so I cannot uh, extend the flaps. But you get the idea. You extend flaps to 15 degrees. Yes, yes, thank you. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will be putting this video up soon for you guys to check out and uh, what I will do is for my next video I think I will do an actual flight and how to how to manage this in flight basically first part will be probably takeoff and uh, reaching cruise altitude and then the latter will be the next part will be landing uh, with the FMC I will see depending on uh, your comments and stuff so yeah please comment and tell me what you thought of this. I hope, I hope it turns out good. I hope um, on YouTube you'll be able to see. I, I'm not. I'm actually quite worried about this, but we'll see. This is still experimental. We'll see how it goes. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Thank you. Bye bye.